All right, here we are again at the wing. I've got all that taken off. And I'm down to the last few fiberglass bays. These are very clean. There's no need for any kind of uh, Pro Seal or anything out here. I don't even think they used Pro Seal. I think they just went around and used epoxy. I don't see any Pro Seal anywhere. This looks like just regular epoxy. And you can see it's still brittle. I mean, still comes right off. Uh, one interesting thing I noticed is some places had that. I don't know if that's some sort of micro balloon filler. But this portion of the wing here definitely has quite a bit of it. I mean, the whole chunk here, this whole section had it. So that was weird. And you can see here, I mean, the paint, whatever happened here, I mean, the paint comes off in, in big chunks. It just like pops right off as it's coming off. And of course, it's not going to do it now. But uh, you can see on the floor all the all the paint chips and everything. The paint just pops right off of the uh, fiberglass also. So definitely nothing here is very, none of this fiberglass is usable. Um, most of the spar here is in pretty clean shape. It's going to take a little bit to clean up. Uh, just a heat gun and uh, scraper that's all I'm using heat gun scraper heat gun scraper gets most of it off and you say this about right here I believe was the last of the uh, last of the fuel cells so all the stuff here was not wet but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off a piece here real quick just to let you know both wings had this issue where the fiberglass is just completely toast and it comes up with no problem. And you can see the paint comes off. I mean, you can see here, evidently, I guess this gray stuff here on my. I guess this gray stuff here was a uh, filler. It doesn't look like primer. I mean, it looks like they were filling it in. But, I mean, the uh, chunks of paint, and you can see here, see the paint just separates right off of it. So I have no idea. I mean, we're guessing UV, you know, maybe just pure age, but this, not a, gasoline should not have been on this side. This, this is not the wet wing. All the fuel cell stuff is over there. This is all you can see. There's no, no pro seal, no nothing on this edge. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knocking these off is really not that difficult. Let me just go ahead and show you. After I, uh, you know, I loosen the. This really doesn't do anything, but since it's really only held in with the fiberglass, yeah, it just takes a couple, just takes a couple, you can see here this is, see how loose it is. That's all there is to it. There you go. This piece here, probably be able to knock this off.
If not, I'll just get the chisel or my scraper, put a little heat on it, be done with it. But you can see the fiberglass did not really do that great a job of sticking on. I could just basically pop it right off. And that's what you get when you're done. So let's say this incandescent light here is getting thrown away. I mean, it's it's not an LED. Probably a halo or something, I don't know. But uh, that's all I'm going to do. I just hit them a couple times. They pop right off, and we're done. So that's it for this video. Just more deconstructing of this rib or this wing. Get the spar. And then I'll make some forms and bang out my own ribs next week.